Hosanna, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to ask that you go ahead and light us on your testimony. Oh, I, um, okay, so when I was about 13, 14 years old, I um, got in a very big car accident with my oldest brother. Um, and upon impact, I broke the sunroof with my head and it threw me out of the car. That concussion, that um, injury caused a very bad concussion. So for, I'm 27 now, so all those years I was suffering with very severe migraines, um, three, four times a week. They were just constant, um, wouldn't go away. I, so it's been years and I've tried all kinds of things. Doctors referred me to neurologists to see maybe it's something going on. Uh, maybe it's in my back. They referred it to TMJ. It wasn't that um, many things. So finally I just settled for just taking um, hydrocodone and Excedrin, extra strength for my headaches, um, just to take the edge off. Um, there were mornings I would wake up and uh, I would feel it about five in the morning. It's coming on for the whole day and it would just stay. Um, and I would, um, I started to accept that this is my lifestyle, that this is just the battle that God gave me to fight. And I have three little girls and I have to raise them I have to be happy for them. I have to be active, run around at the park with them. I cannot sit there with this migraine, but this is just my lifestyle, and this is just uh, something that I'm going to be going through for a long time. And uh, so, as we listen to her testimony, we can see that Zana, she, as she mentioned, she said she was a single mother of three. So we all know that whenever you're a mother, you're a single mother at that. There's certain things and certain activities that you need to do to participate with your kids and with this problem with her migraine she was unable to um, perform these tasks so Zana we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ask like how did you come about um, receiving your healing again she said that she suffered with this problem for about 14 years so she became accustomed to it she believed that this was something that she was going to live with for the rest of her life but then again God used her her child to go ahead and bring healing so when Jun Chi was here uh, for the conference we watched it three days live with my girls, we didn't go um, just because I didn't have a sitter and there was always excuses for me. So we didn't go. Um, and the last night on Monday night, he was here at Hungry Jen and we were just at the park. It was getting dark, it was about 8.30 p.m. And my daughter kept telling me, mom, let's go. You need to go, you will, you will not get headaches anymore. You just need to go, let's go. He needs to pray for you. And I was like, hun. Let's give a round of applause for Jesus Christ. <laughs> So I was like, no, like it's not, I've been in prayer for so long and it's not happening. And, and then we came, we walked through this way. They led us around. John Chi laid his hands on us. Um, I didn't feel anything, but uh, I woke up the next morning. Uh, the third morning I woke up and uh, I, I reached for the pills and um, uh, something tells me don't touch them. And I didn't have a migraine. So she um, explained to me um, that she heard one of her, the, uh, the friends of her mom, going ahead and saying how they've seen that Apostle John Chi was here and she pushed her mom and said, mom, you need to go. She, and I said, well, what made you want to invite your mom to the conference? She's like, well, mom used to sleep all the time and she couldn't really um, do anything with us because of the pain, because of the problem that she was going through. So she, so like the Bible said, out of the mouth of babes. And this goes to show you that God could use anyone, anything at any time to bring his healing to us if we are willing. So, and she's going to tell us, how did you feel after your deliverance with Apostle John G. Are you here? Um, two weeks passed. I started to uh, really question, like, why am I not getting him these headaches? And I had this thought that you were healed. And right away, these other thoughts started coming, like, oh, you've been drinking smoothies. It's probably the smoothies. You've been, like, sleeping a lot. It's probably that. You've added chia seeds. I'm like, no, it can't be that. Um, and so anything just to distract me from the truth that this was really God's work, um, so it's pretty amazing. It's been months and I haven't had a migraine. Let's give a round of applause to Jesus Christ. And Zana, we're going to ask you one more thing. What are, there's, some, there's certain people who believe, like you said, that you um, were suffering with this problem for 14 years and you ha believe that this is what you were going to deal with for the rest of your life. You grew accustomed to it. You um, turned your life around so it can uh, be with this uh, lifestyle because you believe that there was absolutely no solution. So what word of advice do you have for someone who's going through a situation similar to yours or they know of someone who's going through a situation similar to yours? What advice would you give them um, concerning that situation? Um, just to never settle that what you're going through and the pain that you have is permanent and that it is here to stay because um, 
it's not, and God is just, he, our timing is not always his, and um, he has a plan for you, and to, when your kids tell you to go to church, you go to church. <laughs> amen, amen.